<laughs> but I can tell you guys what might be a little bit more entertaining. Just give me a second to cue up the music because in just a second here we're going to do Weenie of the Week. <laughs> as soon as I find... Up oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. I usually have this ready to go, but I didn't. Call me a rookie. Now it is time for Winnie of the Week. Brought to you by Indie Spotlight Live here on Blog TV. And um, this kind of ties in with something that we were talking about a little bit earlier. Um, for lack of a better way to do uh, now many cam doesn't want to work. Uh, no, I don't want to upgrade real player. Grr. <coughs> Alright. I guess this isn't going to work. Oh, yes. Here we go. Hang on, guys. Um. Maybe. Got anybody watching this on YouTube is probably clicking out of this video right about now. Alright. But, um, there's a guy, a longtime single man, will pay you to find him a wife. Uh, this week's weenie, I should say, my friends, is courtesy of our good friend Deb from the, um, Unsigned Musician Show. And I can't find the picture of this guy. Damn. Oh, here it is. There <laughs> we go. Um, my friends, I'd like to introduce you to uh, Paul Gutierrez. Last week he went to Asylum.com and asked him, could you help one, one of his readers, one of our readers, help him find a wife? The catch, our bachelor is 38 years old, has never had a girlfriend, and his hobbies include reading hamsters. While finding a woman for a man like Gutierrez may seem a task too difficult to consider, there's a little something in it for the person who sets him up with his future wife. For that person, he's legally prepared to pay 5% of his future income for the duration of the marriage. Note that the 5% perk will be especially alluring once he actually gets a job. Um, still, if, even if he were to say get like 25000 a year, you're talking about $1,250 worth of residual yearly income. To help himself find a lady in waiting with more ease, uh, he has found uh, he's put together a one ad of sorts in the form of a blog. The blog aptly named "Can Anyone Find Me a Wife?" lays out 38 reasons why a woman should pay him attention. Uh, they include his ability to bounce back, demonstrated by his dedication to find a woman despite myriad rejections on dating sites, his love of hamsters, and the fact that his leading lady will always be the smart one. Says Gutierrez, despite having a sense of humor about all this, I'm completely sincere about my search for a wife and the prize I'm willing to pay to find her. I've been single all my life because I never thought I could find a woman who would ever love me for me. I'm not exactly your normal cat, not to mention women haven't exactly been beating down my door for the last 20 years. He yeah, can anyone can have a bad decade or two, I suppose. <laughs> According to this desperate bachelor, he's never asked a woman out. Uh, he also told Asylum that the first woman he kissed he loved for more than 17 years, so they never dated or talked much. He says, let's just say my few attempts at intimacy with a woman have ended badly. I lost my virginity to an escort, for goodness sake. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think, ladies? Any takers? <laughs> Lisa says, get him a soul. I suppose she means a Kia soul. I guess those cars are kind of chick magnets. Hey, think? Check him out. You know, he doesn't look too much like the serial killer type. Maybe. <laughs> Lee, I think you're right. What he needs is a blind deaf mute. Yeah. Hey, I know some of you have exes that you'd like to get rid of. Here you go. Check it out. He likes hamsters. He's not a virgin. He's 
not a virgin. He's uh, he's he's been with an escort. <laughs> Rob, that must be his prison mugshot. That does look kind of like a prison mugshot, doesn't it? Anyway, it was pretty cool. I was able to get this feature to work on Minicam this week. I almost didn't, as you guys saw. I might have to edit this video before I post it on YouTube. But anyway, take a look at it, guys. This is my weenie of the week. <laughs> Brought to you by... Yeah, he does have a warm smile, doesn't it? Um, so did John Wayne Gacy. <clears throat> this has been in Weenie of the Week brought to you by Indie Spotlight Live here on Blog TV. Join us every Sunday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. A um, lot of great music, a lot of great times in chat, and we um, talk about little things like that. <laughs> and I uh, want to thank you for watching the video. Um, if you're watching this before Saturday, uh, I do want to wish everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas. And thank you all so much for all the support.